Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Bibbity Bobbity Books. My name is Ellie and today I am so excited to be talking to you about my top cozy winter book recommendations. So I just love this time of year. I love it when it gets colder and I just love snuggling up in an evening and reading a nice book. So I am very excited to be chatting you through the ones that I think are perfect for the season. I've got a little bit of a mix. I've got quite a few middle grades on here because there's something magical and wintry about middle grades for me so um, I had to include quite a few of those I've got classic I've got a thriller I've got quite a few adult fantasies as well so yeah hopefully there'll be something for everybody in this video so I am just gonna jump straight in and start showing you the books and I think I will start with some of my middle grades so the first middle grade that I have to show you is an absolute classic and that is The Lion the Witch and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis so this is a book that is very nostalgic to me because I read the story when I was a lot younger and I also love the movies as well which are also super wintry and perfect for this time of year and yeah I just think this is absolutely absolutely perfect. So in this book if you're not familiar with the story already um, we basically follow four siblings who are evacuated from London to escape the Blitz and they end up moving to this big country house and the youngest sibling Lucy stumbles across this portal to another world which is hidden in the back of a wardrobe um, so basically if you walk through the wardrobe you enter this magical country called Narnia which is frozen in an eternal winter so as you can imagine this is absolutely perfect for this time of year we've got all of that snowy scenery and it's just such a fun magical story it's not too long either so it's perfect for kind of cuddling up and reading in an evening and yeah I just had to pick this one as soon as I knew I was doing this video because this just screams winter to me <laughs> The next middle grade that I want to talk to you about today is The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. So again, this is a series that I read when I was a lot younger and absolutely loved it. And um, The Golden Compass is a first in a series and we basically follow our main character Lyra, who is a young girl. And she lives in this parallel world where human souls actually take the form of these animal companions called demons. And basically there's a lot of unrest in the world and a lot of children end up getting kidnapped by gobblers including Lyra's best friend Roger so Lyra basically ends up going on this adventure to try and rescue her best friend Roger and she travels up north where it's really really cold and snowy she ends up making friends with this armored polar bear and she also ends up wielding this magical instrument called golden compass which is very cool so yeah it just turns into a really atmospheric wintry adventure story it's kind of a coming of age story really Really. and it's one of those that I feel like you could go back to and read at any age and take something away from it because there's quite a lot of underlying themes so yeah again I would absolutely highly recommend this one and um, even if you're an adult and you don't normally read middle grade I think that you would enjoy this series. The next middle grade that I want to talk to you about is an absolute classic and that is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I couldn't not put this on this recommendations list because to me that is the perfect winter read it is such a cosy adventure story and I'm sure you're all very familiar with it already but basically in this book we follow the main character Bilbo Baggins who is a hobbit and he leads a very kind of quiet unassuming life until one day this wizard called Gandalf shows up at his door and essentially convinces him to go on this adventure with a bunch of dwarves. Um, so the dwarves are trying to basically reclaim their treasure which is being guarded by this dragon called Smash and they need a smuggler or a burglar to go with them and Gandalf thinks that Bilbo would be perfect because he is small, he's inconspicuous and hobbits are very good at getting into places without people noticing. So basically Bilbo gets hired to go on this job and he goes on this wonderful adventure and he finds out that there's a lot more to him than he originally thought and it is just so so fun. So yeah I absolutely had to put this on this list. The final middle grade that I'm going to put on this recommendations list is one that I've read quite recently actually and that is Frost Heart written by Jamie Littler. So this is such a sweet 
middle grade story and in this book we follow our main character Ash who is a young boy and he lives in a stronghold that is kind of cut off from the rest of the world by this snow sea and within the snow sea live these monsters called leviathans so it's quite dangerous to try and cross the snow sea so he lives quite an isolated life and basically the story kicks off when Ash gets whisked away on the frost heart which is kind of like a pirate ship to go on an adventure to find out more about himself and to also find out a little bit more about where his parents are because his parents have actually gone missing and it is such a lovely story there's lots of themes of family and friendship in here we meet lots of interesting characters on board the frost heart and ash also has this grumpy yeti guardian who goes with him on the ship and i just love their dynamic together and it's such a lovely story it's also illustrated as well um jamie littler himself did the illustrations and it just adds another element to the kind of reading experience. I would say that I think this middle grade reads a little bit younger than some of the other middle grades that I've mentioned today, but I think this would be absolutely perfect if you've got a little one in your life, if you want to read something together, or if you just think it sounds interesting because I personally had a really fun time reading this and I am a full advocate for adults reading middle grade. So yeah, I would recommend this for the winter months because obviously we've got the snow sea, so it's super sort of wintry and atmospheric and just a really fun time. So yeah I would recommend this one. Right I am now going to move on to some adult books and the first one that I want to talk to you about is one of my favourite books of all time um, and that is The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. So this is the first book in a fantastic trilogy and it's all set in medieval Russia where winter lasts most of the year so of course we get lots and lots of atmospheric descriptions of the biting cold and of all the winter and the snow and everything so it's perfect for this time of year and this basically follows our main character Vasilisa who is a young girl at the beginning of the book we follow her as she grows up essentially and Vasilisa is a bit of a free spirit she's a bit of a wild child she's very much connected to nature and connected to her roots and she has this unique ability to communicate with spirits so she can communicate with the spirits of the forest and also the spirits of the household and yeah her life basically takes a turn when her father remarries because her mother died in childbirth um, but he ends up going to Moscow and bringing back a new wife and his new wife is actually an orthodox Christian so she doesn't really agree with Vasilisa way of life she forbids her from communicating with the household spirits and she's actually very afraid and ends up bringing this priest to the town to basically try and cast out all of these spirits and yeah so there's a lot of drama around that this is kind of based on Russian folklore so it's really really interesting it's got lots of dark elements to it as well which I just love and it is just honestly one of the most atmospheric reads that I've ever read. I absolutely love it. The writing is gorgeous and it has some really interesting themes in here about organised religion versus kind of folklore and also about kind of the use of fear to control people and this contains one of my favourite villains that's ever been written. I find the villain in here absolutely fascinating. So yeah I could go on and on about this book because honestly I think it's amazing. It's such a beautiful blend of kind of historical fiction and fantasy and folklore and fairy tales and and yeah, absolutely perfect for this time of year. If you haven't read this already, I would highly, highly recommend. The whole series is wonderful. The next book that I want to chat with you about is another sort of fairy tale-esque story. Um, so this isn't going to be for everyone, but this is Daughter of the Forest by Juliette Marillier. This is a retelling of the Seven Swan Brothers fairy tale. It's the first in a series, but I would say you can absolutely read this as a standalone. Um, but this follows our main character, Sorka, who is a young girl, and she basically is out to save her seven brothers because a curse has been put upon on them um, whereby they are turned into swans and yeah so she has to do this really really difficult really challenging task to save her brothers and it's pretty harrowing it's um, it's very slow we spend a lot of time sitting with our main character as she kind of goes through all the trials and tribulations of what she has to do in order to save her brothers but it's fantastically written the sibling dynamic I think is beautiful in this I love the focus on siblings in here 
and a large portion of this book is actually set during the winter which is why I think that this would be perfect for the winter months yeah I don't think it'll be for everyone because it's so slow it's not the most unpredictable plot I would say but I think the way that it is done is fantastic um, the only thing that I do want to say about this book is there are trigger warnings for sexual assault in here so just know that going in there is quite a explicit horrible scene in here um so just be warned before you go into that definitely check out the trigger warnings but yeah i just think this is perfect for winter because of the atmosphere the next adult book that i'm going to recommend to you for the winter months is song of ice and fire by george rr R. martin this is the first book in the game of thrones series and again how could i not put this on this list because for me this is so so atmospheric for the winter this book literally starts out in north westeros in a town called winterfell where it is extremely cold the weather is incredibly harsh and yeah this is quite a difficult book and series to talk about because so much happens there are so many characters is. there are so many different houses but essentially it kind of follows the political struggle that goes on following the death of the king called Robert Baratheon so basically there are lots of different houses and they are all kind of trying to compete for the Iron Throne and amidst all of this political struggle there is also a ever-growing supernatural threat from beyond the wall which is essentially even further north than Winterfell um, and yeah this is a fantastic series it is really really enjoyable there's so many twists and turns lots of surprises along the way I'm sure you've heard of this before or you might have even seen the TV series because obviously that was incredibly popular but yeah I just think this is perfect because the majority of it is set up north where it is incredibly cold so yeah super atmospheric and perfect for this time of year the next book that I want to talk to you about is a adult standalone fantasy book, uh, one of my favourite books of all time and that is The Starless Sea written by Erin Morgenstern. So this is a beautiful book that I just think is perfect for the winter months. Um, it's not particularly snowy or anything but there's just something about it that just makes me feel like you need to read this while snuggled up by a fire with a hot drink. Um, so this is again quite a difficult story to summarise because it's quite complex it basically weaves together lots of different stories to create this beautiful sort of metaphor but in simple terms this basically follows our main character Zachary who is a college student and he ends up stumbling across this book in the library and he's really really fascinated by this book it contains um, several different stories which are, are talked about throughout the, the book and he is very surprised to find out that one of the stories in the book is actually about him and it details very specifically an event that happened to him as a child when he was presented with an opportunity that he didn't take and has regretted ever since and yeah so he's obviously like a bit weirded out by the fact that there is literally a story about him in a book that he found in the library which is seemingly older than he is so he's very confused by this and obviously wants to find out more information so he ends up trying to uncover clues and to find out a little bit more about where this book came from and he ends up going on this adventure to this underground library and finding out all about this kind of secret book society and it gets kind of more and more weird and wonderful more and more whimsical as we read through the story and as he goes on this adventure through the underground library and he finds out more about the different characters that he's reading about in the story and he's finding out more about himself and I would say this is kind of a love letter to storytelling and it is just absolutely wonderful there are so many amazing quotes in here I felt like I wanted to tab like every other page in this book because there is just so many beautiful beautiful um, quotes in here so yeah I would highly recommend this one if you want something that you can just sink into to um, but this won't be for everybody because it is incredibly whimsical and um, I don't feel like you would enjoy this one if you're kind of a plot driven reader because it is quite slow and incredibly meandering but I personally think that it is beautiful and would recommend picking this up during the winter months
The next book that I think is absolutely perfect for the winter season um, is actually a thriller. So if you're looking for something to keep you on the edge of your seat during the winter months, I would highly recommend No Exit, written by Taylor Adams. So this is a really gripping, fast-paced, action-y thriller. Um, I feel like this would be perfect if you want something that you can just devour in one evening while you're snuggled up by the fire. So basically, we follow our main character, Darby, who is a young girl who is traveling to go and see her mother who's not very well. And she gets caught out in this snowstorm and has to pull over at a rest stop and uh, finds herself kind of snowed in with several other people and the story kind of kicks off when Darby is outside trying to find signal on her phone and realizes that there is in fact a young girl who is trapped in the back of one of the parked vehicles at the rest stop so she obviously realizes that one of the people who she is stuck with is actually a kidnapper and is responsible for having taken this child and is keeping them locked in the back of their car and yeah so that's a really terrifying situation so she has to try and figure out what on earth she's gonna do whether she's gonna break the young girl out of the car but obviously that will place her in a really vulnerable situation she's not got any signal the roads are all blocked because of the snowstorm and so yeah it turns into a really fun fast-paced action-based thriller i will say there's not a huge amount of mystery in this because we do find out who the villain is fairly early on so it turns into more of a kind of cat and mouse uh, sort of situation so if you want something with a little bit more to it then you might not necessarily get on with this one but I think this is really really fun and is absolutely perfect for the winter because of the snowstorm so we have that added element of danger there because they're obviously caught out in the snow so there's lots of kind of trudging through the snow and things so yeah would highly recommend this if you're just looking for something fun and also something really gripping because I couldn't put this down. Okay, so we're coming towards the end of the video now, but I've just got a couple more books that I want to chat you through. Um, they're kind of honorable mentions really, but the first one I absolutely had to put on here because it's the most festive book that I can think of, and that is a Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. So, I mean, come on, this is a Christmassy classic. I had to put this on this list. This will be absolutely perfect for getting you in the festive mood. Um, I haven't read this book for a long time. Um, I did read this at school when I was a child um, and I haven't revisited it since, but I picked up this absolutely gorgeous edition recently because I am hoping to jump back into this story this December and I cannot wait because I think it is gonna be the most cozy festive thing to do leading up to Christmas so yeah I'm sure that you've all heard of this classic before and are familiar with the story but basically we follow this man called Ebenezer Scrooge who is a bit of a grumpy character and he is very focused on his work and on making money and he doesn't really consider the consequences of his actions or he doesn't really care about anyone other than himself and the fact that he wants to make all this money and then one night on Christmas Eve he is visited by three spirits so he's visited by the ghost of Christmas past, present and future and they each kind of teach him a lesson and help him to reevaluate his morals and to rethink what's important to him and it is just such a lovely wholesome story with a nice message to it too. So yeah I am very excited to get to this one this December, not too long so I'm hoping it will be something that I can just read in a couple of evenings leading up to Christmas. So yeah if you're looking for something super super festive you can't go wrong with a Christmas carol. And then finally, I wanted to talk to you about a book that I haven't read yet, but I wanted to put it on this wintry, cozy recommendations video because I think it would just be absolutely perfect. So this is a new release. It was released this year. It is Midnight in Everwood, written by M.A. Kuznia. So this looks like an absolutely stunning story and I cannot wait to get to this this December. I think it's gonna be so perfect. So this is actually a Nutcracker retelling. <laughs> so the Nutcracker is a ballet that I love. I, I really enjoy watching it around Christmas time. I've got really fond memories of going to the theater with my mum at Christmas and watching the Nutcracker and just being completely obsessed with it. Um, and so, yeah, I think this is gonna be such an enchanting story. And yeah, if I give you a read of the blurb, then you'll see why I think this is the perfect cozy wintry read. It says, Marietta Stell longs to be a ballerina, but as Christmas draws nearer, her dancing days are numbered. She must marry and take up her place in society in the new year. 
but when a mysterious toy maker, Dr. Drizzlemere, purchases a neighbouring townhouse, it heralds the arrival of magic and wonder in Marietta's life. After Drizzlemere constructs an elaborate theatrical set for her final ballet performance on Christmas Eve, Marietta discovers it carries a magic all of its own, a magic darker than anyone could imagine. As the clock chimes midnight, Marietta finds herself transported from her family's ballroom to a frozen sugar palace, silent with secrets in a forest of snow-topped fir trees. She must find a way to return home before she's trapped in Everwood's enchanting grip forever. Don't you think that just sounds like the perfect winter read? I love that it's kind of a little bit of a dark twist on the Nutcracker and I just think this is going to be beautiful. I've heard lots of really positive things about this. I know a lot of people say that it is very beautifully written and have likened it a little bit to The Night Circus by Erin Morganston, which is one of my favourite books. So yeah, I just had to include this on this recommendations list, even though I haven't read it yet, because I'm just pretty confident that I'm going to really enjoy this one and I cannot wait to pick this up in December. So that is all of my cosy winter recommendations for you. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you're having a wonderful, wonderful day, whatever you're doing. And yeah, I'm just now super, super excited to get festive and to do all things wintry and cosy. <laughs> so I am going to pop off now, but I will see you next time with another video. Bye.